Okay, so um, I've been trying all day to get to uh, uh, the next section of videos, which is, uh, hang on, is this, can you guys see all right? I hate to have like a big shadow and it's a drag for you. Anyway, so uh, they got to fix the stuff behind me. That's a new construction project. It hasn't started yet. Um, trying to get to the next series of videos, which will have a little more of a financial focus to them. Um, we've probably, many viewers uh, of this channel may have heard of the phenomena known as flying furong, or falong, how did I trip over that? Flying falong. Foreign people, this is sad, I'm not making fun, this is serious, flying out of the buildings. Uh, I've tr been trying to do some research and I haven't had a whole lot of luck other than to say it seems like there's an awful lot of, uh, oh, here comes some food. That food lady coming. The food here is typically pretty good. It is, it is everywhere. Um, anyways, uh, I'm trying to get some statistics on suicide rates in general in different populations. Maybe the West, maybe the U.S. or England versus Canada, something versus uh, 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 Asia or Thailand in general. But the suicide rate for uh, foreigners in Thailand seems to be abnormally high. Um, lots of smoke there's got to be a fire that, that, that's what i'm seeing uh, you sure hear about it a lot and it's in the news regularly although typically in thai only doesn't make the translation into english it's bad for business obviously tourist country so um what happens is uh expats come here and oh everything is so cheap oh this it is and it isn't you know we're all typically on limited incomes and so, uh, yeah. hello, sawadee kap. Thai sometimes like to speak loudly. It's odd because they're shy. Anyways, um, not uncommon. I, I don't know. I don't understand that. Uh, anyways, um, where was I? So uh, uh, they get, they come here. They think everything is cheap, and it kind of is, but it's kind of a trap because it. it, it Everybody like, I mean, I've got an ego. My ego's plenty big. I, I we're gonna, I'm actually that's a, a topic for a video coming up. Why is Rob's ego so big? We're gonna do that. I'm gonna make really good fun of myself because uh, I need it. I deserve it. But um, you come here and and, and 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 it's easy to get into like the, the role of being the big shot, you know. And 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 I've seen personally known a couple of guys that have done this and. You spend a good chunk of your retirement savings building a big house that's on your Thai wife's land. And people, some people feel that their research leads them to believe they can own that land. And it'll sort of walk and quack kind of a little bit, sort of maybe like you could possibly own it, but you don't really own it. Any, I, I, I'll always repeat this, any Thai wife can go to the local land office and get your name removed. All that paperwork, all the legal fees and the, the lawyer you paid and the big shot lawyer and everything, it all comes down to your name being on a piece of paper. That piece of paper is in Thailand. It's a Thai piece of paper written in Thai and your Thai wife who let me think, oh, is a Thai, will go into the Thai office and have the non-Thai person's name kicked off. Done. You're out. So, and I really, really, really mean this. So you never really can own it. I really discourage anyone from investing. So a lot of these guys that, that commit suicide, God, this is so sad. Um, a lot of the stories seem to go with uh, people have spent all their money that they had. And I, some of it is a psychological barrier. There's a lot of psychology in this, obviously. But some of it is a psychological thing with... Uh, then they could go return home and maybe try and work and make their fortune again. Like in my case, I really can't. I am I am 100% disabled. Like there's, my pain levels are just insane. And I, I don't want to be a whiner and make my channel about all that. But, but, you know, I can come out here and stand for three or four minutes and shoot a video. I can walk for half a kilometer and I got to go ice down my back for two hours. So I'm pretty good at putting on a show and, and my much younger and prettier Thai wife likes it that I do that. But you get the idea, okay? You get the idea that you can come here, you're older, you're maybe past your prime. I am. I can admit it. And, you know, 
now to go back to your home country, everything is, you know, five times more expensive or three times more expensive, at least twice as expensive as what you've been living on here. Well, that's daunting. You know, you're, you're out of touch with all your friends, your business contacts. All that dries up super fast when you're gone. You know, you've been here, it's taken you five years to really F it up. And, and I guess a lot of these guys, for whatever reason, don't feel like they can go home. And some don't really, and I don't understand that, but they're struggling to get like, I've known of a couple of guys that were struggling to get like just the money for like the ticket back home and just to a couple bucks to just start an apartment and start over again. They didn't have it. And they're just kind of got, guys get stuck here. They come here and they get kind of trapped. But for whatever reason, then they'll kill themselves. Uh, and that's awful. I don't, I don't understand the whole thing. If they, the tie, if the bar girl they married, you know, has spent all their money, but they didn't have like a pension coming in or some annuity. So I don't, I don't understand. But it's super sad. So we're gonna do some money stuff because you do need to keep your head. You do need to stay within your lane, stay within your pay grade. I'm living on a budget that I've set for myself that's extremely conservative because one of my biggest fears, other than my son disowning me or something, is that I F it up here financially and I get really stuck. Um, so we're going to avoid that. I'm avoiding that. I'm going to show you how I'm avoiding that. And I'm going to reveal my actual budget and what I spend on things, which I think will be kind of interesting from a curiosity standpoint. But it's a pretty reasonable budget. It's a pretty reasonable one. So. Anyways. This is just my videographer's notes on what the heck is coming next. And sorry, it's taken so long, but you've seen the content I've put up today. I think I put up seven or eight videos, including the shorts, but still uh, already today. And uh, it's getting to be almost nap time. I'm getting tired. My back's starting to hurt. Thank you for supporting my YouTube channel. Thank you very much.